this guys these new events wow this is unbelievable what a massive monastery on the top of the mountain oh yeah oh yeah guys 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 blue skies baby good morning everyone welcome to the day five of everest base camp hello yeah, namaste. namaste where are the beautiful shoes that you told me um outside also here ah, these ones are so nice too big maybe these are like big. as long as this big. is very big yeah. so i can put my feet in mm -hmm. so this is perfect yeah back. i know i have my back here okay. don't worry so we are making the last purchase before we are heading to the mountains. This is the last thing that I realized that I need to go to sleep warm and nice when I take these big, big bad boys out. So today we are heading to Tengbuche. We are supposed to go up to 3.8 to then go to 3.2 to then go back to 3.8. It's supposed to be one of the hard days and especially because of this. So we got yesterday the crampons. So we are expecting today five or six hours of walk. So much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> and the way back, maybe. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but now we're gonna have some breaky. Uh, let's meet Annabelle again. Finish back in the back. Let's get on with the adventure. I'm so excited, guys. So excited that we are leaving today and not yesterday because the weather was crap. And now it is gorgeous. Good morning. Oh, mama. Potatoes with cheese. Excellent. Mm. Let's go. Every day in Namche Bazaar, I felt like a different, different city. First day it was completely clean. Second day it was fully snowed. Third day, fully frozen. Oh. This is so exciting. We're finally starting, so to say, like the difficult part of the hike. Because today we have like a big up and big downhill. After we reach today our destination, Everything should be a little bit more flat on. So, bye bye, Namche. Holy crap, this is so crowded, guys. gonna try to push a little forward to try to get off the massive pile of people because everyone is stopping to get pictures clearly about this wow okay this looks a little bit like the Alps from yeah. this end. look at all of these guys this is ridiculous <laughs> see the mountains over there <laughs> wow. that's it Sorry. There is guys, way 
way too many people for my taste. So Annabelle and I had agreed on meeting on the next like tea spot, tea house or village. And I'm gonna rush a little bit forward because I want to experience this almost with no people. That's more likely. Ah, uh, here we come with the up skills, guys. Oh, so Also, oh, this one to the right is Lotse? Lotse, yeah, right. Uh, Lotse. I never supposed to be where? Yeah. Where, where is supposed to be Everest? Behind there? Everest is behind the last we see. On. It's in the clouds, yeah? In the clouds, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Everest likes to be in the clouds. What a experience, guys. We just barely started. We're barely 45 minutes in. And we already get the views of another beautiful 8,000 meter mountain. And then behind the clouds, as it usually loves to do, that flipping mountain is the Everest hiding. So I am going to continue now that the crowd seems to be here very stuck to try to get the next spot, just you and I, guys. Roadblock. <laughs> wow. Yesterday seems that we were gonna have a very, very, very bad ending of the journey because of the snow. It was the first big snowstorm of the season and that could have changed a lot of plans if the weather would have been bad for a few days because also people who still look like kind of fly back, flies kind of coming here and it would have been a bit riskier to do the hike than for example doing it today in which you can see guys everything is already melting. I'm not even using the crampons. I'm just carrying them and I bought them just in case there's need to do it in the future but so far the road is melting everything is looking insanely beautiful i am so happy that it is snowed and you can see guys it's almost short sleeve no jumper no nothing it's such an amazing experience and i think what is also even better is the attitude of the people that is walking it's not only the people that is going up it's also the people that is going down it's very smiley they have achieved something that not too many have done so I feel very humbled and thankful to be here right now. Cheers to you, Nepal. Wow. Cla clouds are starting to close up everything. But that should be Everest after that cloud. Getting closer, getting closer. I gotta tell you, Rockstars, my trip became 
way easier because I dropped in Namchi Bazaar on the hotel half of my luggage. I was carrying the big camera with the lens, I was carrying a tripod, I was carrying chargers, batteries. So I have left all behind because in reality, I have proven multiple times that when I am so tired and I'm doing a big hike, I barely use the big camera. So I'm, I have enough on me so I can document properly in the way up and the way down to the Everest base camp. But I feel it's a, it was a poor decision of mine to bring extra things because my luggage was almost 15 kilos. It was such an unnecessary thing. So I had an extra pair of pants. Uh, I had a towel, which I just dropped because to be honest, you can rent, if, if I find a shower anywhere here, you can just rent the towel and I don't have to carry extra luggage. I have left medicine for the throat. I have left uh, like an extension to charge multiple things at the same time. So I easily dropped in the hotel around five to six kilos. And now like, this is a whole different thing guys. So be cautious when you're making your packing for the mountains because that's the thing that you're gonna carry for 10 to 12 days. 10K. So be wise, be wise. It's hardy. Fucking hell. So guys, if I am correct, what we're doing today is actually, we're going to the little village that is over there, somewhere over there, that's called Tenjuma. Then we're going all the way down, just 3.2 to the river over there to then whoop, go up again until we reach 3,800 meters to a place called Tengbuche. Uh, we can stay there. There's some monasteries that if we are on time today, we might be able to see the ceremonies. But I've been recommended to go 20 kilometers after, 20 kilometers, no, 20 meters after uh, Tengbuche because this is going to be very in the middle of a hill, which means that there's going to be air coming from both sides. But if we walk 20 minutes more, uh, the next village is on the forest. So on the forest, there will be supposedly a little bit less wind and probably it's going to be a little bit cold on the night. But let's see, because Annabelle is probably way behind. And let's see what time do we make it? Because safety first, then look three. Huh. I don't know if I should continue or I should stay. Chuki chun, chuki chun. Whoa. Car is stopping in here. My lord, this is crowded. Dude, this is unbelievably crowded. When the attitude was following. Well, I'm gonna wait to Annabelle here, oh, but the weather is starting to get a little more cloudy. I mean, it's still beautiful if you look at this, but show must go on. And we should reach the next spot for lunch to have a little snacky before we head into the mountains to go up. Hola, bon bon. So we just made it to Kungyu here and now we have to go to Kungatenga which is in the river to then have food here and then go to Temboche to sleep. Well, the, the forest area that I told you is the Buche. So <laughs> stay hydrated kids. Annabelle made it, so it's time to shine. Let's go! Ow, wow, wow, wow. Okay. Hokkyo, this direction, base camp in this direction. 21 hours more of walking. Namaste. Well, 
I took the crampons out, guys. Well, the crampons are cool while you're going on the snow, guys, but if you're working on solid ground, they are very difficult to use. So I put them out. Now the road is quite rocky and it's very easy to walk. I have to say that this is probably so far the most enjoyable part of the hike. Uh, the altitude is getting a little lower, it's very easy to step out and people is getting a little intense when it comes to arriving to the next destination filled before Namche is still an introduction and this feels the moment where like introduction is gone. What a great bye, brother! <laughs> that is the attitude, ain't it, guys? You are. Oh, you, 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 you okay? What, what is the next place? I forgot the name. The river. Huh? Funky Sanka? Yes. Funky Sanka. Just in the river side. In the river side. How, how far is it? I'd say 30 more minutes. Huh? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Oh. I am so energized! <laughs> Let's take a shortcut. <laughs> Shortcut master guys, let's go! Now well, we made it to the river, which also means we just made it to restaurant on time. We're gonna get some foodie. Oh, not too many people here, that's nice. Oh. Hello, my friend. Yeah. ¿Qué pasa, españoles? Está plagado de españoles, eh. Os lo digo que no sé qué ha pasado. Estamos llenísimos, hay un montón de españoles. Sí. Aquí. How many years have you worked here? Uh, it's long, long year because it's my parents. Ah, this before is, yeah. my parents running. Now I run it. But now it's a lot more people, eh? Yeah, yeah. Better business. Yeah. And you have a good location. Yeah. How when when it snows a lot, is it dangerous for you or because you are in the middle of a valley, no? No, not dangerous. You see, like so many people coming now. Yeah. I easily passed 100, 150 people through the route today. I am. Look at the crowd. All of them. And some people already left. Crowded Everest, guys. <laughs> this is crazy. Ay, ay, ay. Next step guys, we have another checkpoint and from here we're basically going all the way up until 3,800 meters to a village called Tengbuche. That one should be our stop of the day to sleep. Two hours. 
good. What a good painting. Very easy walking. Yeah, that's a fast Time to shine again. Wow. 15 minutes ago, someone said that we were around half an hour. So, we should be almost arriving. How are you, man? You're a superhero. What are you doing? Superhero, yeah. yeah. <laughs> how, how heavy? Yeah. How, how many kilos? 70 kilos. 70? 7 0? No, no, no. 1 7. Oof. 70 kilos. <laughs> this is no way. So beautiful. Holy smokes. Wow. I can't even start to describe what is the feeling in here, guys. This is unbelievable. What a massive monastery on the top of the mountain. And unfortunately now we don't have the views because it's getting snowy now, we have a massive cloud, maybe like a snowstorm coming later on. But apparently there, Everest will show up tomorrow morning. drop the luggage, have a coffee, so we can get into the monastery whenever it opens properly. Look at what a beautiful city, guys. Tiny, in the middle of the valley. This is so beautiful. film inside of the monastery but there was a little ceremony going on inside that I'm gonna leave the mystery there so whoever decides to come here and enter in this beautiful place gets a little surprise but the Sun is coming and oh, this is gorgeous let's get some hot cocoa <laughs> Something very warm, whatever it is. Mm. Well, I'll take a minute to think about it. Okay. Hot chocolate rum? Like rum rum? Yeah, rum inside the chocolate. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, it's chocolate milk, totally. Mm -hmm. You like marshmallow? Oh, yeah, <laughs> thank you. Oh, is this possibly the best hot chocolate I have had so far? <laughs> thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Oh, mama. Good. It's so good. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, this is amazing, man. What a life, guys. What a life. <laughs> I'm cold. Mm. Oh. Holy shit. Everest, baby. Oh!